Hey guys, this is, it's me, Cindric Willers, and this is my first video making. I've wanted to make this YouTube video for a long time, or this YouTube channel for a long time, and I guess I just thought now would be a good time to do it. Might as well start. This is my Heart Gold Let's Play, my first Let's Play on the series. Don't need any info because I've been playing this game for years, but, um... I don't know what to say. I'm not. I, I'm. <sighs> huh? I can't do voices. I'm sorry. A guest at this hour. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the P Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? I am a boy. So, I'm not going to put in my real name this time, maybe my ne next Let's Play, I'm not sure, but I'm going to put in Azazel, and it would I would be very thankful if you guys told me if I spelled this wrong, but I think that's how you spell it, so I'm just going to go with that for now. Azazel, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experience, is there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. I'm probably only gonna voice a couple people like the gym leaders, my mom and Professor Elm. And Professor Oak, I just did, and Mr. Pokemon, I guess. And probably the Elite Foreign people, but I'm not just gonna do everyone I talk to. Maybe Joey, I'm not sure. Hi, Azazel, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot our acquaintance, Professor Elm, is looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where his lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here's a bag so you can carry things. This is your trainer card. Here, you can save and record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the bottom buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. It's not working, I'm joking. So, I think, I'm definitely putting it on fast. My um, question of the day, should I do window frame type four? Seven or eight? I think I'm gonna go with four right now. Basically, the first person I see comment it, I'll do that one. And I'm sorry I'm taking a while, but and I'm sorry if my quality's bad. But this is, like I said earlier, this is the first video I'm making, and I've been wanting to do this for a while. I know that this isn't necessary, but I always like to talk to this person once before we go talk to the professor. So this is the famous Professor Elm's lab. What, what are you staring at? Oh yeah, and just so you know, this is family friendly content if you couldn't already tell. Professor Elm, oh sorry, I didn't mean to say that one. 
Hi, hi, Azazel. I'm gonna try this one in a weird voice. Hi, Azazel. I have been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk around with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Can you walk beside your po this Pokemon outside of Pokeball to see if it is... To see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people. Our devices were... Ugh. I'm sorry I'm messing... Oh, I didn't even do that one either. Ugh. I'm sorry I'm messing this up so much. Professor... Oh. oh, hi. Oh, hey, I got an email. Huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey. Hey, listen, I've got, uh, I got this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyways, I just got an email from his, from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but... We're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? We can count on you. You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. And uh, if you guys can look at my name, which I know you guys can probably, you guys should probably be able to tell who I'm going to pick. And it is my favorite Pokemon. Obviously... Chikorita. I'm joking. It's Cyndaquil. I always like to call my Cyndaquil cuddles because if you cuddle with it and it likes you, you'll be fine. But if you cuddle with it and you don't and it doesn't like you, you'll probably get burned really bad. I'm sorry if I spelled that wrong. I'm not very good at spelling. Is Cuddles the nickname you want to give? Why did I say that? Whatever. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use, just check your PC on my desk. What? what? Ah, sorry, I got that off screen. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarest his house. Wait, what? Finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Azazel. I love the fact that your Pokemon follow you in this game. It's like the best. I want you to have these to help you with your task. Poke potions. I mean, why am I voicing him? I'm not voicing everyone. I'll do Lyra a couple times at least. Azazel, so you picked a Cyndaquil? That's a cute Pokemon for you to have. When you walk with it, it will become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. I'm probably gonna end the video soon. Mm, probably not soon.